studies carried out on the outcome of change initiatives show a dramatic reality. 70% of these initiatives fail or do not achieve their full potential. When people speak of change management, they are often erroneously convinced that once this is announced and imposed by top management, it will also be automatically implemented. In doing so, they do not take into account the element which makes the change possible or impossible, such as the human being. Any change, be it the merging of two companies, an organizational restructuring, a new technological platform or a cultural transformation, requests people in the organization to adopt a new working method, to see themselves and their roles, their responsibilities and their interactions in a whole new way. So the success of change initiatives depends on the capacity of each individual to reconsider his own mindset and prejudices and to move out of his comfort zone and take risks. This ability is not thought by the family or at school. As all human beings, when we have to face situations which question our habits and convictions, we instinctively and unconsciously tend to do all we can to maintain the status quo, to remain in our comfort zone, where everything can be foreseen, monitored, and when we feel self-confident. Hence, change management is related to the personal transformation of the human beings who take part in the company. Organizations do not transform themselves, only people do. And when a critical mass of people developmentally transform their consciousness and as a consequence their way of thinking and acting, only then the organizational transformation can happen and develop its full potential. In our experience, supporting the cultural and organizational transformations of leading companies in Italy and in Europe, we've seen that for the change to be successful, it is necessary that five essential factors coexist. One, a strong commitment by the CEO and the leadership team who will have to walk the talk. Yes, people will do what their managers do, not what they say. And two, a process leading to a greater awareness and transformation of both the individual and the group mindsets. A deep reorganization of the way of thinking and behaving, which will have to move from the leadership team down to the front line. Three, a communication system capable of addressing in a clear and transparent way people's worries, and which can be a bridge between the company vision and the people's individual values so that everyone can find his own personal meaning and importance. Four, systems and procedures which can, which can support and strengthen the desired changes. Five, a training and or a coaching program to allow people to develop the abilities that will make them feel more confident in facing the requested changes. And finally, transformation processes required bold leaders at all levels who can become the champions and role models for the change. Mm -hmm.